Alright, so I wanted to give you a quick demonstration of the new gallery module that I just created. So this is what we're going to be building. See, we've got the standard jQuery light box here. And then a jQuery color box here. See, one of them is better for images. The light box is pretty good for images. There's a little caption down there. And you've also got the color box, which is really great for HTML. So this is all actually coming in from an HTML. These are all background images and stuff like that. Then we'll also create a before and after light show. This one's actually using color box. So let's get into it. So right here I have a brand new installation of Pyro RC2. See there's no galleries add-on. We haven't even installed it yet, so let's go ahead and install it. Then we'll just drag and drop this guy in here, and we have galleries. So let's install galleries. Then you can see here we have those two types. So we have a, a light box and a color box type. Inside of the light box and color box, we have the entire layout. So all the light box and color box. JavaScript and CSS are included in this layout, so it actually makes it super easy to swap out any of your own light boxes or color boxes or any of those JavaScript libraries that you want to use, which we'll actually show you a little bit later in the video when we create our own before and after gallery. So let's go ahead and create a new light box. This is going to be a rad light box. Okay, so then we'll go and add a new item. I'm just going to upload these all at once, make it easier on myself. Then we'll use Bink for the first one. I'm just going to put a caption for demonstration on this first one. Then we'll go and add all of the rest of them. Okay, so now we've created an entire gallery. We'll go ahead and go to the welcome page here and drop it in. And we have a gallery. So you see that caption that I put shows up right there. We can use the left and right keys to go through them. You know, pretty standard gallery stuff. Okay, so let's do that one more time, but this time we're going to use the light box instead of color box. Oh, sorry, got that backwards. We're going to use color box instead of light box. It's going to be kind of boring because it's going to be exactly the same. All right, so now we've got the rad color box. Let's go ahead and drop that into the home page also. And see that the interface is a tiny bit different. Oh, I forgot to put the caption in here. Let's put a caption in there for demonstration.
So now we see a caption under Bink video here. So let's go and take a look at types real quick. So you'll see inside of here, we have like the data title here. So this is Lightbox has a data title built directly into it. That will use that value. And if we go into color box, which uses HTML, you'll see that there's a, a separate area right here where I've actually created a gallery item large caption. And I just throw the caption in right there. So since the before and after, <clears throat> excuse me, is going to be more HTML than anything else, I'm just going to copy this and go into the type, create a new before and after type drop that guy in there. Um, then I've gone and I've modified it a little bit so I'm just gonna use that code that I already used for the modification but I'm showing you the process of how I did it. So I copied and pasted that in there and then I went through and just modified it a little bit. So I've added this before and after image right here <clears throat> as well as a before and after caption. Uh, modified a little bit of the HTML, not a ton. And then I also added this theme before and after CSS file right here. So let's go and grab that from the demonstration project. Um, I just stuck it in the starter theme because it was easy. So we're going to put that guy in core pyro starter resources and paste that guy in. Okay. So you know what? Let me show you what is in that file. You can pause it and read through it if you'd like to. So nothing crazy, just some positioning, align the left and the right, and then put some captions underneath it. I've just hard-coded the before and after caption to make it easier, but you could put before and after caption fields in there if you like to. So for right now, we need a file, and this is going to be the before image. I'm going to put that in the gallery items, save that. And then we'll also need a file for the after image. Go ahead and put that in the same folder. Okay, then we're going to assign those types. Oh, I must have forgot to push save. I'm going to assign those types to the before and after field. And the before. Okay, so now we're going to go ahead and create a before and after gallery. So this gallery is going to be some before and after content aware Photoshop filters. Just just because they make good before and after stuff. So let's go ahead and upload all of those. Okay. Oh, they're all over the place. Okay, so let's do this comp after and then select comp after, select comp before. Okay, so let's do that a few more times. I think there's one more. Titled after and titled after. Titled before. Save that one. And then we can go into the pages and we're going to put that before and after gallery in pages as well.
right, so now we've got our four images here and they'll pop up and we get this nice before and after together. Great, thanks for watching.